everybody, Allison Smith here, parenting coach and consultant. I wanted to share a little story with you today, which will hopefully give you some perspective and help you know that you're not alone, as well as to give you a couple tools that you can consider if it happens to you. So lately there's, there's been an ongoing um, large emotion, shall we say, with one of my kids and um, elementary elementary age <clears throat> which is and and it's been really out of character there's been a whole lot of anger and stomping of the foot and saying no to some of the suggestions we've had for activities or even going to a restaurant so it's been really kind of strange because this one is usually quite easy going and uh, so we knew that something was up but we've been racking our brains we've been observing asking questions and we just haven't been able to get to the bottom of it we have now <laughs> just recently as in less than an hour ago so we wanted to come here to this beautiful beach and um, a special thing about this beach is the the water is so strong that everything is smooth including beach glass so we've been searching for beach glass recently Anyway, um, he's been asking and asking to come back. And so we thought we'd do that today with some friends. But he said he didn't want to go, which was really surprising. And in fact, he, he was adamant. And I knew that if I pushed it too hard, that uh, there would be all out World War III. Um, he, he has some staying power. <laughs> and he has a mind of his own, which we have actually encouraged. It's a good life skill. Just trickier when you're a parent and they're not very old. So he was getting more and more upset that we wanted to go and we'd already made plans and he all of a sudden said no he didn't want to go. So he said well I want to have a pajama day. He was still in his PJs. So we thought I thought well maybe if I if I give him that and kind of um, offer that it might convince him because we have a rule in our family um, we can say you can you can try to convince me I'll listen to what you have to say and maybe I'll change my mind maybe I won't so we do that for each other even for the kids so I said are you open to me convincing you and you trying to convince me nope <laughs> not even that and so I gave him some time to cool off because I knew he was just about to lose it he'd thrown a pillow and he had that look on his face I'm sure you've seen that too so this went back and forth for a little while and he had a little break and I went to him and just talked about something else um, and that helped he responded very normally but as soon as the issue of of our outing came up he was back to the way he had been so we we just kind of uh, talked back and forth and tried to keep it light and and very low pressure because I knew the pressure if I pushed there'd be more push back and uh, so eventually he said well aren't we going I said oh okay <laughs> so he agreed to come if he could wear his pajamas you know what, that's not a deal breaker today. I knew there wouldn't be a lot of people out and I said, aren't you going to be embarrassed? He said, no. All right, pick my battles. So we were able to meet up with friends just in time and here we are. So I have gotten permission from my kids to share some stories if, if uh, I use them to teach and it maybe helps somebody else. They're, they're pretty generous that way. Hopefully they'll still feel the same when they're teenagers, but I'll ask again periodically. Sorry about that changing hands losing blood in this one <laughs> so um, we were drive uh, what I realized was we've we've shifted our rules around screen time because they were having a hard time regulating themselves and the amount they were watching and it was affecting their behavior and sleep and it was just a constant asking for more and that wasn't working for us so we set some times and decreased the the amount of time that they're on screens and it turns out he was afraid he was going to miss screen time. And as soon as he knew that, um, it, was, it was almost by chance that we happened upon that because he asked something about screen and we just followed that path down with our discussion and lo and behold, that's the deal. And it sounds like that's been the deal lately because that happened right around the time that we uh, changed the schedule for the summer. Anyway, um, don't give up hope if you can't figure out what is fueling your child's behavior. Just know that there's always something. There's a need. So his need is 
to feel reassured that the rules still apply and that he still gets uh, what is very important to him. He's very good at games and Minecraft and that sort of thing, and he really loves it. So if, uh, if, I, if I had pushed, um, we would have caused a bigger problem between us as a relationship. And since the relationship is first, I, I couldn't push because I tried that once. <laughs> it did not go well for anybody. Uh, he took a swipe at me. Um, but yeah, you know, they're, they're just not regulated at that age and they, they need extra support and they need a, a detective to try to figure out what they need because they, they don't always know when they're younger. So keep going, keep being patient, take a little break if you need to, keep that relationship first and know that it happens to other people, <laughs> it happens to us and it's, it's normal and you can work through it and come out the other side with your relationship stronger than ever. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.